We're here at the Autonomous Car Conference in Detroit. Right now I'm talking with Craig Giffey. He runs the U.S. automotive practice for Deloitte, and you got to be excited about all this automotive oh, we're autonomous very excited. technology coming. Yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be absolutely transformational for the industry, and it's not completely clear how it's all going to turn out, meaning there's going to be winners and there's going to be some losers, but it's going to be a fascinating journey. Craig, what have you been talking to the audience here at the conference about? What's the message that you're really conveying? Well. The, the conference is looking at a combination of the technology that's transforming the industry. And there's so much technology coming from so many of the suppliers. But on top of that, there's the issue of consumer preferences. Will they adopt the technology? And more importantly, will they pay for the technology? So the real concerns is how much investment makes sense relative to monetizing that investment and who's going who's gonna to win that battle in terms of getting value back out of the investments being made. Of course, part of the problem right now in doing consumer surveys is consumers have never experienced Absolutely. this technology. It's just a concept to them. So how can they really give you an accurate reading of what they may want in some years' time when they've never experienced it? Yeah, I mean, consumers really don't know. What they're telling us right now is, honestly, they don't want the technology. We do a global consumer study, and what it tells us is that consumers in developed countries, like the U.S., Germany, Japan, they are not particularly interested in autonomous vehicles. They don't want self-driving, in other words. In emerging markets, they're very interested in self-driving vehicles. They want the vehicle to drive itself. But by and large, the one consensus around the world is they want safety technology. They want the type of technology that protects them from, from accidents. They want the type of technology that protects them from themselves when they're talking on their cell phone or otherwise being distracted. You said, though, that you believe this is going to be transformative technology for the automotive industry. i got to believe that you believe consumers are going to come around and actually embrace yeah, this. Yeah, I, I think consumers, little by little, will embrace it, right? Every day we get more of the safety technology into our vehicles, and that's exactly the same technology that will evolve into autonomous vehicles. All those, all those safety systems are necessary, the lane changing, the lane departure, the, uh, the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control, all of those things start to work together to a point where they will slowly end up with autonomous capabilities, whether they know it or not. The real question is, will regulators follow along fast enough and consistently enough state to state and country to country? Yeah, the technology seems to be moving so fast that so fast. legislation just cannot keep pace, at least not yet. Yes. Where do you see it all going, though? I mean. Uh, of course, there's all different kinds of definitions of autonomy. Is it a level three car? Is it a level four car? But right. let's say full autonomy, when do you think we might actually see these things in showrooms? Well, I'll tell you what, if I knew the answer to that for sure, you know, and, and could bet on that, be, we'd, make, we'd make a lot of money. You'd but, be living on your island. But, right? but I, there are estimates that would say the technology is available and they can do it within the next five years. I think for full consumer adoption, the tipping point where that's prevalent versus what we're seeing today could be extended as, you know, anywhere from 25 years and beyond because you've got, you know, a hundred, hundreds of millions of vehicles on the road today, and that's just in the U.S. If you expand that on a global basis, right, it's going to take a long time with the average age of the vehicle on the road extending to the point where those old vehicles come off the road. So if, you, if you're just pragmatic about how long that transformation will take, whether the technology is available or not, mm -hmm. it's going to be an awful long time before those old vehicles come off the road, legislation gets standardized, and we actually have mass consumer adoption. That's, that's my opinion. And when do you think we might see a fully autonomous car that can meet all driving situations, not just limited to, say, 25 mile an hour speed limit roads? Well, I, I, th I think the technology is pretty much there today. I mean, I, I would argue in the next 24 to 36 months, many of the leading automakers will have the technology that can do exactly what you just said. The question is, will, will they allow it to happen? And in what circumstances you know, does the risk profile become too high to be able to allow that technology on the road with everything else that's going on, right? All the other drivers that are out there. Well, it's going to be fun to watch. This, this is, is going to be really very exciting. fun to watch. Thanks so much for your time today. Craig. Thank you, John. Good. Keep watching. We've got a lot more coming from the Autonomous Car Conference in Detroit. Deloitte's Automotive Group is at the forefront, driving transformation and tackling complex challenges. Whether you are interested in globalizing operations, optimizing supply chains, mitigating enterprise risk, or driving innovation, 
Deloitte can help develop solutions that create long-lasting value. To learn more about Deloitte's automotive group, visit us online at deloitte.com backslash US backslash automotive.